We are back. We have dried off our paper. It's a little buckly, got a little moisture in the back, but that's okay. Let's clip that back on. Now, here comes the most important part of the painting is the second step is always the most difficult or the most important. So I'm gonna slow down a bit. I'm gonna use a brush that gives me a little more control, a little more detail. I like the short handle of this because I can get in there and move things around. So even though we said it, well, <laughs> I just splattered my paper. Uh, that may work, oh boy, it's creating whites. Gotta be careful. Eee. Gotta learn to roll with the accidents as they happen. And they can get an interesting effect. Well, let's see here, where do we want our darks? And uh, let's go just a neutral, medium value green. I want that to be a bigger, higher mass there than here. So to make sure we get that right. Now I'm gonna mix up some greens. Cobalt blue, yellow ochre. That's a little bit cool. Uh, so let's, that's kind of, yeah, that's, that'll be an interesting looking, oh yeah, and I want those in the background, so we don't want to go too pigmented, and I want to change it periodically, so let's get a few colors in that mix, uh, that's our snowbank here, be careful there, you don't want to, All right, leave some of the background color showing through always. And maybe I'm gonna come up to the top and put a little bit darker green. So, ooh, wow, ooh, ooh. That's a Tony Couch color if I ever saw one, huh? Some dry brushes, ooh, I like it, I like it. And I love purple. You put some purple in a painting, you can't go wrong. Let's get some of those, yeah. These winter scenes. And I'm gonna start putting some of these purple ideas, so purple notes, into my snow, snow banks. Soften that up a bit, but keeping the white. Kinda of like, oh, uh, almost like a Nita Ingle design there. I like that. You don't want any whites in the side. That's where you, your eye will always go to the light, so let's get rid of those. Now that concept applies to oil painting, acrylic, whatever. You don't want your eye going to the edge. Right? Right. Now that's interesting. The, the uh, image is reversed on my painting. My trees here are to the left. You see it to the right. We'll just have to deal with that, huh? Let's put a few more. snowbank indications and I need to decide if that's a snowbank. Maybe that's a snowbank back there. Oh. oh what's all that greenish stuff? Hmm. Let's get rid of it. a little bit too green for me. Uh-huh. Oh, this brush is a gold mine. I love this brush. You can't get it anywhere. Linda gave it to me at a workshop. Thank you, Linda. Wherever you are, I gave her a painting for the brush. And I think we both came out okay. This, this brush is worth a lot to me. And heck, my painting was a pretty good one. She could put a frame on that and sell it for 10 bucks. Maybe. Okay. Uh, how far do I want to go with these trees? Remember, it is a tree painting, so that's what we're going to have fun with. So, but I don't want it to be bigger than that. We have to have balance and gradation. Let's make it. Let's make it darker. In fact, I think this is going to be the tree with a little more hard edge. And I think my center of interest is going to be there. Rule of thirds. We'll put it there. So let's just kind of punch that up a bit. Yeah. Okay, now, at the bottom of these banks of snow, that's where we're gonna have darks. 
and that will tell the viewer okay oh that's a little bit too dark where to look i want to direct your eye we're going to try to make some logs there so it's going to be done now don't put too much dark yet but we could do so i don't know what that's going to be yet oh i like it though it's starting to look like a tony couch tony couch zap 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 you ever take a lesson from that guy he's great okay you know you don't have to really do too much with this uh, you don't want that to be the same as that so let's let's change that to more of a, a purple on there let's go around some of these you know maybe paint around a tree over here you can do negative painting uh, it's getting kind of dark and we could always spray I like using the mister bottle that's going to be my hard edge side this is going to be my soft edge side so I'm just going to flip it upside down and give it a little spray and see it run can you see that okay guys that paint is running oh I love the effect of that running paint oh, look at that nebulous blessing the painting Ooh, I'm liking this and now we're gonna work in the water a bit if I was water what would I look like well it's gonna reflect the sky but I want it to be darker I want it to be darker How do we do water? Bits of light. Yeah. I want to have a lot of that light area here. Hey, okay, this. Ah. Don't get ahead of yourself. Let's, let's keep the, the water going horizontally as a direction for now. Okay. And let's put some purple mountains in the background. How are we doing on time? We're seven minutes in? Okay. Purple mountain majesty above the freedom. But... Oh, what a wonderful voice I have. Okay. If I was a snow-capped mountain, what would I look like? Yeah. Oh, it's a little bit... Uh... Yeah, it's a little bit dark. Can I dull that down a bit? Yeah, but you don't want it too exciting. Don't want that mountain too exciting back there. Well, that's kind of nice. Maybe kind of coming all the way up here. Let's throw some of that color into there. Some of that color over here. Soften that up. Let's finish this water. Remember, pretty simple. I want big shapes. Your eye responds to big shapes. Step back, take a look at it. I'm liking it so far. Water here. Okay, we're going to let this dry for a bit and see you in a minute. So we're at eight minutes into this guy.